Hello everyone. So what um but it's just gonna be soon, so you have false advertising. Yeah, basically. Hmm, yes, I do wonder where it comes from as well. Apparently my phone controller isn't working, so that's why it seemed like I was taking some extra time on the starting soon uh, page there. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna be starting our uh, playthrough of Disco Elysium, a game I've been really wanting to play. It's kind of right up my alley in a few ways. Uh, so it's a... Well, you can actually see here, we're on the Wikipedia page, and I'm just gonna be explaining a few things. And as you can see from this little bit here, if I am on the right, yeah, I am on the right scene. Um, it is a detective RPG. Interesting, we've been playing a lot of detective games. I don't know if that was obvious at all. Whoops. Um, what this? <laughs> um, to be honest, I'm still downloading the game as we speak. Which is why uh, Wikipedia is not a reliable Wikipedia is not a Wikipedia is not a reliable source. Um, it's absolutely better than nothing, uh, that's for sure. And it's actually usually on the money. Oh wow, everyone's here. Uh, this is awkward because I'm still downloading the game and I just needed to stall. So we have Persona music playing. This is Layer Cake from Persona Five. Um, and later I'll be playing some music from Disco Elysium because I have had a listen myself. Just to give a little preview of the game. But while it's still downloading. Uh, because I'm such a professional. Uh, okay, so here's the thing. Usually the games I play are only um, a couple hundred megs. And I got a little comfortable with that. A little too used to it. This game was 11.57 gigs. So I came in 20 minutes, 25 minutes early. Um, and started the download. And we'll probably finish within the first 15 minutes of the stream. But uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the reason. No detective game. Yes, spoofy games. Okay, well, here's the thing. Um, the spookiest game I know is the Pokemon Nuzlocke, the Black 2 Nuzlocke. That has given me the most jump scares out of any game uh, ever, really. So yeah, there's there's your scary game for the month, the Spooptober. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll do something actually on Halloween that's more related to like the horror theme or something scary. I certainly do have some games that fit that, but I'm just usually not one to go into that genre. It's not my favorite at all. But uh, I mean, uh, this is a murder mystery game and murder is kind of scary, right? It is. If you say no, you're a psychopath. Psychopath. Ugh, I always forget that that's not an Americanism. Um, rattle me bones. Mm. Um, do you mean... Yeah, whatever. Uh, so, is this meant to be a reference to piracy? Uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, let's go through why I want to play this game and why I chose it. So, as you can see, it's a role-playing video game. Little by ZA slash UM. I don't know what the origin of that name is. Like, I'm... Oops, sorry. Headphones on today. Almost forgot. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the origin of that name is. Play Spoopy. I will, maybe, <laughs> don't tell me what to do. I have every right and power to, pay, to play what I want to play. Um, there are plenty of scary-ish games that I could play. I don't know, we'll see. I murder people every day in code. That's a crime. Anyway, uh, <laughs> back to my stalling. Hey, stop distracting me from my stalling. Um, it takes place in a lodge city, there's a war event. Uh, during the investigation, you come to recall things because you're an amnesiac. This is all not that important. It came out last year, and it won a lot of... Oh, that's what you meant. In COD. In COD, not code. I understand. Um, yeah, I have my own thoughts on that, but I'll leave them out of this stream. Um, so it came out last year, and it won a lot of awards. Okay, it came out October. i sharing your name. Um in COD. <laughs> uh, Vice Chess is looking for some competition. Maybe. I don't know. Unless you're actually just trying to find out what his actual name is. But the... What was I saying? Oh yeah, so it came out in like, yeah, 15th October. I thought it was 19th October. But... No, as in you don't mind? <laughs> that is how some people would take that. But it won quite a few Game of the Year awards and I'm gonna just skip down to that. Uh, Joystick Awards Ultimate Game of the Year was nominated. That's pretty impressive. No, I do mind. Yep. Uh, the Game Awards 2019. This is the one that's impressive. So it won Best Narrative, it won Best Independent Game, and it won Best Role-Playing Game, and uh, Fresh Indie Game it won. So that's four 
Game of the Year Awards, or the Game Awards. The Games of the Year Awards. Which is very impressive. I uh, got a whole bunch of other stuff. Nominated for like... A billion things. Uh, it also won a lot of BAFTA stuff, and I believe that's gonna be this one. Um... Okay, there's a lot of stuff happening in the chat. It's... John Cena, that's how old I am. Doon, 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 doon. Yeah, I remember that theme. Um, it won debut game, it won best music, it won best narrative. Firefox got <laughs> disconnected. Oof. So I scrolled really quickly over the plot and setting there, so if you want to, you know. If you want to spoil yourself on the game, that's where you can check it out if you go back in the stream and pause and just read all of that for yourself. Oh, thank you for hosting me, Firefox. That's very nice of you. Um, still downloading the game. You're playing Persona right now? Aren't we all just playing Persona in our real lives where we do one activity a day and then go to bed? That's 2020 in a nutshell. Um, that's what my year has been. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we have the layer cake playing here, but, um, oh, if you don't know how to do this, you just press I. Uh, but let's listen to some music from Disco Elysium. This is quite nice. It reminds me of some themes from Transistor. Can't even do anything else. Send help. <laughs> no. Whenever I do something, it just becomes night. Yeah, that's how time works. That's daylight savings. You have to save the daylight. I don't understand what daylight savings is, and I think it's kind of weird, to be honest. Um, I also want to give a quick shout out to um, Ludwig. In a very interesting way, I don't have a Discord. And I don't have bot set up either, or command set up. But anyway, I don't have a Discord. <laughs> that's certainly something that I have not... Uh, had the time at all to even consider setting up but uh so if you follow why you don't set up a discord server well for a few reasons i'd have to allocate mods for that i'd need a larger following otherwise it would be like three people that's a lot of time i'm really bad at discord i don't get it i am an old man at heart studying computer science i'm like yeah whatever but um when I have a larger following, I will probably get around to doing something like that. But at the moment, I really can't justify putting the time into it. I already have a Twitter, and um, I actually have a website, but don't don't actually ask about that. Um, I'm still setting that up. That's a secret, and that's a surprise. Also, this is how I do my Bane voice. Ah, oh, Mr. Wayne. Ah. Oh. Yep. Uh, for so many reasons, that's a dumb idea. I don't know. I think Discord servers are kind of cool. <laughs> SMA Strush. Oh, sorry. I forgot to follow you back. My bad. I'm only following two game, two accounts on my Twitter, which is Genesis Noir and Dicey Dungeons, because I want Dicey Dungeons updates and I want Genesis Noir updates. That's that's it. Um, what was I saying now? Oh, yes. Ludwig. So Ludwig is a very big streamer and a slightly smaller YouTuber. <laughs> you already have a Discord. That's quite impressive. Um, my applause, but comparing ourselves to other people is not always beneficial. Um, so, Alfred is a YouTube channel I follow, and also uh, Alfred Deluxe, it used to be Alfred Plus, now it's Alfred Deluxe. I don't know if Alfred Deluxe has more subscribers than Ludwig, but the main channel Alfred definitely does. So what it was pretty cool to see was when on Alfred Deluxe they used a Ludwig clickbait. Like they actually basically copied what his thumbnails would be, what his title. Uh, I can't remember the exact video, it was an Among Us video though, so it was definitely ripping off Ludwig. Um, you have a Discord server too! That's great. How many of you have Discord Nitro? If you guys want to boost, if I make a server and you guys are willing to boost it, then I'll definitely do it. Oh my goodness, that's uh, that's pretty rough. Ha. Huh. Yeah, y'all are acting kind of sus. Hmm, uh, I think we found the two imposters. Also, would you guys be interested in watching me play Among Us? Because uh, I own the game, and I have friends to play it with. 
but I don't know if uh, my audience really would be into that. <laughs> we were just talking, that's us. Now, if you start a meeting and you say hello, that's us. I mean, come on. You probably... You're just wasting people's time. Eject. Was not an imposter. Um, so I have... I do have people to play with. Uh, and I don't know when it would fit into my... Um... Schedule throughout the week. But, I mean, I could do it if people are interested in watching Among Us content between me and friends. Yeah. I mean, does that sound like something people would want? You want to play with me too? Oh, well, maybe you can. I don't know, it depends on time zones. But uh, also, you can do this, by the way. If you didn't know, you right-click and press loop. On on YouTube. That's how you can loop a video. Um, and yes, play. Okay, well, I'll see. I'll investigate. That's kind of a scary game, isn't it? It's psychological horror. It's, um, what's the other thing? What's the actual tag it gets? Social deduction? That's what it is. So uh, it's, a, it's a detective game and it's kind of scary. So maybe that could fill up um, a time slot on uh, my channel for the week. I really want to get into this game though because it's about 20-ish hours for the main story. And it could be Fan Choice Friday. That's an interesting idea. Hmm. I'll think about that one. I'm just trying to get, as soon as we get the Pokemon um, Nuzlocke out of the way, that'll open up a lot more time. Because I really just want to get it kind of out of the way now. <laughs> it's causing me a lot of stress and trauma. So I want to finish it, beat it, and then put it away. <laughs> put it away. And then we'll we'll definitely look at what we can put on the channel. Although I did have some ideas for what I would replace that with. Um, or any fan choice any day of the week. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Maybe Wednesday would be a good um, pick for that because it's kind of I don't know Wednesday's like its own piece of the weekend I don't know if anyone else feels this way um, because you need a break after Monday and Tuesday and you need a pre-break for Thursday and Friday because Friday you're going to take a pre-break for the weekend anyway um, and Thursday is just like the worst day of the week unequivocally I think it's certainly the one I associate the most stress with I don't know about any of y'all well, actually it's been better these last couple or well, this last year because I don't have that many lectures on a Thursday. No, although, back in the time of going to campus, I'd have to stick around until usually five. You talk more in chat, but you're on your phone, and also Twitch Mobile sucks. Um, I don't think we're afraid to say that here. Does anyone want to explain where all my followers came from yesterday? Because that was a bit crazy. Um, shout out to Bilal, uh, six. Ein, I don't know how to say his name, and Eclipse, because they just showed up out of nowhere and followed me, and that was really cool. Although, I don't think they stuck around for very long. I know Eclipse was there for a little while. But that was that was cool. I mean, if Firefox, if, if you sent them my way, that, would, that was really nice of you. Thank you. If it was someone else, thank you again. I really don't know how that happened. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, DQ, do you um, host me on your channel? Because I don't know if that would work. If that's where they came from. If you recognize any of them. Um. Yeah. Okay, well, the download's almost done. And then I just have to set up the scene. And then I'll definitely start playing. So, <laughs> there you go. And then we'll get a solid 45-ish minutes. I'm off my PC, remember? Oh, yeah. But you can still host people. You can do auto-host. I auto-host you. Auto-host just means when you're offline and I'm online, then it will show up on your channel if you auto-host me. Yeah, that shouldn't lead to much either. I, I was also thinking that wouldn't lead to much. Oh, here's something cool. <laughs> That's basically what happened. Um, not last week, but um, when I first took a break from the series, that's basically what happened. I lost like... How many Pokemon? I lost like f more than five. Um, in I think one stream or two streams and that's what led me to take a break because it was just so bad um, you don't have much followers except your friends well I mean hey that's where you start uh, I'm not one to say that I have many followers but I'm getting close to 50 and that's really my goal to hit uh, by the end of the year and you guys are really helping out a lot um, it's great but what was I saying yeah so I lost like 5 or 6 Pokemon between two streams and that really I just need to step away from that I did make a, a promise in my last Pokemon stream that if I 
um, if one specific Pokemon, which is Barry the Crobat, if she dies, then I am ending the series, regardless of where we are. So yeah, I mean, if you want to hack into my computer and sabotage my ROM so that um, Barry loses the next fight for some odd reason, that will definitely cancel the Pokemon series. Um, I do kind of want to finish it as a favor to a friend who requested it. More than five, that means he lost the Nuzlocke. No, I had a lot of extra ones. I had some saved up in the PC. Uh, and it was across more than one party set. Which is the key. So I lost four in one battle. And then I think I lost two in a separate battle. But I'd refilled my party. Um, I'd reach one of the requirements for affiliate. I don't get enough consistent viewers per stream to be an affiliate yet. You have to have three viewers on average per stream. And I have about 1.5. Which is, um, it's okay, I, and I understand why my content probably wouldn't get as many consistent viewers, it's quite niche. Um, and that's fine, I'm at peace with that completely. But it is something that I need to uh, build up if I want to become an affiliate. But the first thing, and the easiest thing, would be to get 50 followers most likely. You need more clout, yeah that's true. Um, if you want more clout, just have more clout. If you're... Oh, this was such a dumb thing that I saw. So apparently now, um... Call of Duty Modern Warfare has exceeded 250 gigs. I didn't black out. I didn't black out. That's, that's the important thing. I lost four Pokemon in one fight. Left the fight with two living. Um, and then I restocked my party. And then... I went out and lost two different Pokemon. Um, but I didn't ever have an empty party. Although I am kind of on the brink of that. But, so now you need more than a standard SSD. Standard, as in like the one that most commonly gets shipped. Um, <laughs> wow. 300 gig partition. Uh, so, 200, over 250 gigs means... A lot of people who, like, just want to play COD really can't. And one of the worst responses I saw was that, um, so someone was complaining about it. Because that is quite unreasonable. Um, Xenoblade Chronicles X is a massive game. And I'll admit that it's not as graphically precise or developed as... Yeah, I know. I remember when that happened. That was very sad. Um... It's not as graphically precise or as uh, impress mm, debate debatable, but it was on the Wii U. Okay, now I can actually set up uh, Disco Elysium so long. Uh, let's go into, oh, I don't know. This scene? Is this the scene with just me? Hello. It's, r it's raining outside. That's pretty cool. Um, so what I was saying was, let me close this. Cool. Um, interesting. Why did it need admin? Um, okay, well, apparently it has to update. Oh, no, it's first time set up. That's fine. Nice face. Thank you. What was I going to say now? Yes, yeah, so Xenoblade Chronicles 2, a Wii U game, was, I think, 26 gigabytes. No, it was 26 gigabytes on the disk. I think you had to, you didn't have to. You could up, uh, update it with a day one patch that made it look a lot nicer and run a lot smoother, I believe. I haven't played in a long time. It's not really justifiable to have a game that large. 69. GTA 5 was 60 gigs? Yeah, there's no excuse. To have over a hundred gigs, I think. Like, you can make a very competent, very enjoyable game with less than a hundred gigs. Um, oh, that's, that's weird. Storage inefficiency or time efficiency. It makes sense for an online game, I suppose. But if you look at how um, programmers who do demakes or um, analyze really old games that took advantage of a lot of very impressive optimization techniques. 
You can definitely get around that. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's true. So just having it like in more than one place on the hard disk would actually save quite a bit of time. Hmm. That's yeah, that's interesting. But you should definitely look into, especially one of the more impressive ones is like Sonic 3D. Early 3D games did a lot of really, really cool um, things that saved space and time. I remember some of the ones that were... So Sonic 3D is another one on the tip of my tongue. Hmm. I don't remember. I think it might have been another Sonic game. But it also might have been a Mario game. Excuse me. Um, It's just launching now. <laughs> we're finally going to play Disco Elysium, guys, on the Disco Elysium stream. Yep, 60... Wow, I'm really burpy today. I'm sorry. This will just make it worse. I don't know why I went to reach for my drink. So yeah, if you've ever looked at Xenoblade Chronicles X, it's beautiful for a Wii U game especially, but it's beautiful regardless. Um, and it's huge. The map is huge. So there's like, there's no excuse. In my opinion. I 100% understand what you're talking about. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> um... Yeah, this is interesting. It's taking quite a while to launch. Oh, it's ready to launch. I have to press play game. I was waiting that whole time for nothing. How clever. I am so smart. Uh, Okay, it's not in a window. That is not my preferred way to play games. And I also have to set it up. I, I don't know, let me see if I can do this immediately. I can't see anything now. The chat, can't see it. My scenes, can't see them. Hopefully everything is going well, and nothing is broken. I sure hope that's the case. Otherwise, I'm in a bit of trouble. So I have a very lovely looking menu screen here. Is there a menu screen? I can't even tell. Can I... Let's do this quickly. I don't know. It might have to do more setting up. Let's see how many frames I dropped. None? No way, for real? Are you alcoholic? Or just... Uh, hold on. I missed a lot of things because of uh, this whole funny fiasco. Um, yeah, let me just close the program. No, you don't have to... You do not have to send a response to Microsoft. But let me read. Josh is alcoholic, he drinks, or just drink once. Are you alcoholic? I have literally never had a drink. I've never <laughs> had more than, like, a sip when I was younger because my parents offered it to me. That's that's the extent of my drinking. Um, I'm going to, that's, like, not even. I've never been drunk, and I don't, and I actively don't drink. If you hold alt and press play, I'm Virgo, Josh. It's not... What? Um, hmm, that usually works. Usually I'm able to set up um, startup things, which includes windowed mode. That's weird that it didn't let me that time. Mm, mm, mm. And the game is frozen. This is great. Having a wonderful time. Trying to fix all of this. This is a bit of a mess. I should just go into just chatting. I should just go into just chatting. What the heck? This is cool. I should change the stream name to 
figuring out how to play Disco Elysium 2020. Um, I now have to play catch up. I don't drink soda actually. I haven't had soda in a very long time. Well, you, you, I do partake in the verb of uh, drinking, the participle, but not of alcoholic beverages. But I, seriously, I haven't had soda in a very long time. Okay. Ooh, do, 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 do. Very cool song from Persona 5. Ah, this is very cool. If I had to rate this experience, I'd say it was 10 out of 10 so far. Um, let me just Google something quickly. Were you drinking together? I've literally never met Firefox in person. So, <laughs> you can't really claim anything about me in that regard. DQ has though, and he will vouch for the fact that I intentionally do not drink. Um, let me just Google this if I because I can't remember now. Ah. Do 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 do. Do 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 Ah, cool. Oh, <laughs> That's exactly what happens. Let me try that. Ah. Wait. I almost got it right. Uh okay. Um Wow. Mm. I think I would get into more than enough trouble to get me in jail if I said to a 14 year old, nah, it's okay, just drink, um, after just meeting them. Uh, <laughs> so you mean a depressed? I don't think listening to the JoJo's theme while not drinking makes you depressed. I think it makes you enlightened. Uh, it's my two cents. That's the definition of uh, depressed. I guarantee you I'd have a better time doing that than drinking. <clears throat> Sorry. Try that. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's not get hostile in the chat. That didn't work. <laughs> like Beatles in the city. Be back immediately to confiscate the money. Um, let me do this. Bring this over to you. Actually, look at it. So now I can look at the chat, but uh, the game still hasn't started properly yet. But anyway, let's uh, go over this. I don't think I'd offer you a glass made out of something other than plastic. Forget a glass with alcohol in it. Ah. <sighs> 
Did you change that message before you send it again? I'm I'm actually very glad that my auto mod caught that. Oh. Yeah, if you just drink and listen to JoJo's, that's kind of sad. Uh, if you don't know how to drive. But for me, I don't drink and I don't know how to drive and I'll listen to JoJo's and that seems fine to me. Um... Hey, we have music for the first time. Uh, windowed. Yay! Now we can finally play the game. Because I can figure this out now. Oh, fun! Now you guys know what it's like to be a streamer. Um, no, that's not what I need to press. I just need... Okay, so there's not going to be any game here at the moment. Um, but here's what I'm going to do. It'll come up in just a second. Do not worry. Um... Should work. I don't know. Is it working? Who or what is Jojo? Who, me or Diku? Um, no, well, Diku uh, sent a message that had uh, some... <laughs> a word that I don't think he meant to say in that context, but he did. And that's the problem. Jojo or Jojo's refers to the franchise, the usually specifically the anime Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, which is my religion. Um, and why is it not picking up the game? Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? It's not picking up the game? That's very strange. Yeah, that's exactly why. I can see your message. I'm not gonna allow it in in the chat. Um, yeah, but uh, try again. Try again later. So half an hour into the stream, Josh managed to figure out uh, how to capture uh, this game. Oh, it found the game. This is all fine. At least we have the music. Um, wow, okay. Yeah, that did get through. At least it's not crude. I have to put this in the right place, though. Is that behind all the alert boxes? Uh, let me do that. How does that look? Does that look fine? Please stop. Before before I ban you. I can make that bigger. Let's do that. Cool. Let's move it over a little bit. And make it a little bit smaller again. There we go. Haha, we're ready. I did it, guys. Professional streamer achievement unlocked. Um. Okay, what else are we looking at here? Now we can start the game. Okay, options. Uh, okay, we're gonna go new game. This is all fine, right? Game's audio is a bit loud for me, but that's fine. I know this track is quite loud anyway. Select archetype. Are we going to be a thinker, sensitive, physical, or create your own? This is because it's an RPG. And when you start, for people who haven't played a tabletop RPG, you usually roll for your stats at the beginning. Or you can decide on them if your um, game master approves. And it's just up for that. Uh, GM. GM approved. Cool, so we can actually start the game. Uh, extremely intelligent, very bad with people, knows interesting facts, comes up with original ideas. That's the thinker class, sensitive, very psychological, a magnetic personality, but unstable, might begin to lose his mind. Interesting. <laughs> thinker more like thonker. Uh, yep, 
physical, extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body, gets things done but dumb as a rock, not a huge fan of that. I think we'll create our own. Um, I kind of want to go an in-between between these two. So Fizz is clearly the strong one. I don't know what Mott is. What's Mot Motorix? How well you move your body. Oh, so it's like hand-eye coordination and stuff. That's interesting. So let's go with, um, create our own. Um, yeah. So, intellect. I want to get a pretty good intellect. I'm happy with four. And I want a pretty decent psych. I'm kind of happy with three. Let's go with a weaker physique. And a weaker... Um, the physical one. Uh, I think we can go invest one more. Uh, let's put it like there. Does that seem good? Random. I mean, it's pretty easy to recreate this. Let's see what random gets us. Um, interesting. So how many pips do we actually have to work with? 12. Okay. Let's go with the, the build I just mentioned. Uh, yeah, let me just uh, subtract from here. Uh, and then we can say two here and two here. And I think that's pretty decent. I don't know. We'll see. So this game has a lot of customizability because it's uh, an RPG. A, a real, real RPG. Not just like one that you, you know, whatever. <laughs> you know those ones. Um, where you're put in a role and you all you do is have control. This one you have customization. Um, so we can put up logic or an, uh, set skill. So it's total intellect for your capacity to reason. Intellect for. How was your day? That's directed at everyone. Yes, let's hear about everyone's day. My day was a bit weird. Got up really early to finish an assignment. Didn't take too long in it. Felt pretty proud of myself. Then watched a lot of Xenoblade videos because I was tired. And that didn't leave me much time to do something else. But it's all working out in the end. A logic? I don't know. What can I do here? So, what happens if I press this? Uh, wield raw intellectual power, deduce the world. This is interesting info. Cool four. Analysts. Pure rationalist. Obviously, uh, logicians. Logic urges you to analyze the living daylights out of the case. It enables you to piece evidence together, detect inconsistencies in statements, and impress everyone with your astonishing conclusions. It's the bread and butter of many a detective. At high levels, Logic will be able to solve even the most complicated puzzle. You will be very proud and thus susceptible to intellectual flattery. But those blinded by their own brilliance often miss important clues. With low levels of Logic, you're going to have a hard time solving even the simplest puzzle. Even if you find the pieces, good look... Uh, good luck putting them together. Uh, your lives don't matter. Timmy's life, what uh, does that... What? I think I'm a bit young to have a stroke. But did I? Encyclopedia. Overview. This is a cool, very cool picture. The art is wonderful. Um, call upon all your knowledge. Produce fascinating trivia. Uh, call for thinkers, historians, trivia freaks. Encyclopedia makes you a know-it-all, turning your mind into a database of facts. It enables you to draw on these facts innately, offering a wealth of background knowledge to all things related and unrelated to your case. Who knows when the history of cigarette brands will provide the breakthrough you need to arrest a murderer, or when knowledge of pre-revolutionary guns might save a life. At high levels, encyclopedia, sh encyclopedia shares this wealth of knowledge to an almost overwhelming degree. While it may give you crucial breakthroughs, it more often will clutter your mind with useless tidbits. With low levels of encyclopedia, though, you'll be forced to work with only the clues in front of you. Without any background knowledge, uh, copying is going to be tough stuff. Did you spike my chocos? You ate too much chocos. What are chocos? I kind of like that. What's rhetoric? That is, uh, island image. Practice the art of persuasion. Enjoy rigorous intellectual discourse. I think that does speak for itself. Drama. Play the actor. Lie and detect lies. Conceptualization. That's cool. Understand creativity. See art in the world. 
Hmm, visual calculus. Reconstruct crime scenes, make laws of physics work for the law. Uh, why don't I make them all three? You can go for that, I don't want to. But hey, download the game, play it for yourself, make that build. Um. Oh, I can update the title, can't I? Um. <laughs> Here you go, guys. This is gonna be a little joke. For all y'all, all the OGs who were here since the beginning. Here we go. Make laws of physics work for the law. That's genius. I know. That's hilarious. Uh, this was um, all the. Or the sort of emotional ones. Volition. Hold yourself together. Keep your morale up. That could be good. Inland Empire. Hunches and gut feelings. Dreams in waking life. That's pretty cool. Um, perfectly balanced. That's all things should be. I can't really do a good Thanos impression. It's Josh Brolin. And I know I should carry the power of Josh with me. But hey. I am. Inevitable. But, um, I do a better Bane impression. <laughs> Especially from Harley Quinn. The, the show, I mean. Uh, Razzy Dazzy. I've got that one down. Um, empathy. I love these portraits. My goodness. Uh, or like these. Uh, they're so good. Authority. Intimidate the public. Assert yourself. Esprit, uh, esprit de corps. Connect to stations... Next to Station 41, understand cop culture. Interesting. Suggestion. Charm men and women. Play the puppet mask. And this is uh, physical stuff. We're probably not going to do much with this. Uh, take the blows. Aim threshold. Struck with the pain. They'll have, uh, have to hurt him more. Physical instrument. Flex powerful muscles. Enjoy healthy organs. Electrochemistry. Go to party planet. Love and be loved by drugs. Oh no. Shivers. Raise the hair on your neck. Tune into the city. Hey! This is a... Uh... Oh my goodness, I made such a terrible error in my Genesis Noir video. Um, for anyone who watched it, I constantly refer to uh, Rick Veitch or Rick Veitch's run on the question. And that was in 2009. No, it was in 2004. I said 2009, it was 2004. 2004, 2005. And this is exactly that. I'm out. Yeet. Well, thank you for showing up, DQ. Um, tune in for the next one. We're going to be playing this again tomorrow, and we'll probably actually be starting. So that's uh, going to be fun. Off light. Let the body take control. Threaten people. That's a bit weird. Hand eye coordination. Ooh, hands. You guys said this wasn't a horror game. Perception. See, hear, and smell everything. Let no detail go unnoticed. Reaction speed. This is what uh, Captain America is really good at, I believe. I don't know what these diamonds mean yet. Oh, it's how much we can put in. Ah, I think I understand. Okay, straighten your back, keep your poker face. Composure. You can do one in composure, right? Is that what we do? Ah! No? Is this what I do? Ah! No. No, I don't think that's what I want to do. Maybe logic? Total four. Ah, okay, so one of these is going to be our signature. And it will increase our... Okay, and it will increase something by another one. That's cool. So we can either have logic... Uh, I kind of like conceptualization. Do we want to do conceptualization or logic in chat? How many, how many of y'all are art folks and how many of y'all are puzzle people? Any puzzle people in chat? That's my impression of a typical streamer. Um, as we all know, I am an atypical streamer. I am weird and I'm pretty bad at it. Oh, thanks Grim. Let's go for logic. As one person has voted, <laughs> that's enough for me. And hopefully that won't be enough for the American people. My goodness, I'm scared for the future. And let's go with logic. I think that's fair for a detective RPG. Uh, so this is a bit similar to, I think, 
it gets compared a lot to a game called uh, Divinity, especially Divinity 2. Divinity Original Sin 2. Divinity 2 Original Sin. Not sure. The fru in the Furies at Home in the Mirror is their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. R.S. Thomas. Begin. Yeah, same logic. Okay, well, I'm glad everyone's agreed. Let's begin. Ancient reptilian brain. There is nothing. Only warm primordial blackness. Your conscience. There is nothing. Oh, never mind. He's speaking for me. Only warm primordial blackness. Your conscience for men, Cine. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever. Oh, okay, that was the whole line. Never, ever. Simply keep on non existing. Never, ever, ever. Never, ever, ever, baby. Okay, well, I mean, we got the same choice in the end. And an audience amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. <laughs> this is great! Give me some more. What was that about the... X something? <laughs> if you can make logic, make your logic that you always win. Yeah, okay. Maybe. I don't know, we'll see. I don't really know how this game will progress. Uh, this is great. Give me some more. Um... Let's go with what was that X thing? Creeps up on you. Oh, it's the limbic system. Lies hidden in your dead angle, soaking in some lurid acidic sauce. It's bloated and shameful, a ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. Plunge back into the fathomless deep? No, I wanted to know about the X something. <laughs> No, I wanted to know about the X something. X X this is how people read their Harry Potter fan fictions. You to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. Sail with me through the abyss of the magic zone. Alon Z, never let me go. That's um. Oh, it's French for let's go. Uh, Doctor Who. No, not Doctor Who. The Doctor from Doctor Who says it quite often, I believe, depending on which doctor. No, I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. I'm all for this. Do you really? Don't be naive. Of course not. I want to sail the inky blackness until forever ends. I do. Let me off. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. <laughs> yourself into oblivion. I'm enjoying this. Did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much over yourself. Got a bit carried away, did we, Chef? I'm guessing we're drunk. Inland Empire, easy success. Fear and apprehension. You should ask what's out there first. Wait, I did, I did this to myself? Tell me what's waiting for me. I don't care, I'm an idiot. A brave idiot. Tell me what's waiting for me. Hmm. You have win to be doing. That's true. Although, do we really win? I don't know if it's that kind of game, if there's a definite objective victory at the end of the rainbow. I don't care, I'm an idiot, a brave idiot. Tell me what's waiting for me. There's this giant ball there, in evil apes. And the evil apes are juking it out on the ball. Hmm. You're one of them. It's basically humans. Just evil apes juking it out on a giant ball. How big is the ball? How small are the apes? I like this question. Infinitesimally small. How small are the apes? <laughs> sure. Infinitesimally small. Oh, I can keep asking that one. How big is the ball? Can't even make out it's a ball when you're juking it out. It's that large. And this duking it out I keep hearing about. What's that? Fine for resources. It's a stupid expression. You're talking about man struggle with man. The presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have to beat the other evil apes in the face. 
or you lose. That's sad. Yes, it is. And you drowned in that sadness a long time ago. What do you mean drowned? You lost. Oh. We got encyclopedia. Medium success. Okay. The sound outside, you recognize it. It's a- Oh, this is a skill check! I'm an idiot! This is actual tabletop RPG mechanics. It's a Capri Inamba. I'm so bad with cars and mechanics and that type of thing. Open your eyes, Link. <laughs> we Zelda now. Oh, we really did drown in it. Oh, we're naked. Save for underwear, thank goodness. I hope this is safe for the internet. Is anything safe for the internet? There's the bottle. What's this? Just the tape. Ants? Take all. These? Tavoir Fair. Uh, minus one Tavoir Fair. Let's do it. Please. Uh, what's this? Perception hearing. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Put them out. Oh wow, we really do interact with the world. Nah, I think he was talking about Earth. I think he was talking about Earth and humans. It says, whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Okay. Let's investigate a little bit more. Tab to highlight. Ah, everything that we can get. Oh, come on. Ah, there we go. Ceiling fan. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. Truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Mature stream. Oh no! I really don't think it is. Uh, it might be. I don't know. Then I'll put a mature warning. Or has it been uh, consigned? Oh, this is um, a check for our, I think it's empathy. I can't remember now. Or has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend and wants to reattach itself to your neck so that you may continue your adventures together in the strange world. Grab the tie. Low percent chance of succeeding. Always loses, always wins. Pull on the fan, pull on the light bulb on the fan. The blade comes squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. Wow, we could still fail. <laughs> we could still fail. Um, yeah. Get it. Wow! You reach out to grab the tie, but what's this? Diffuse radiating chest pain. Doom comes over you. Grab your chest. Are we dying already? Wow! Ceiling fan? This is bad. Feels like sharp stones grinding in your chest and keeping you from moving. For quite a long time. Still ongoing. Now's a good time to start worrying. Finally, the pressure recedes. You find yourself covered in cold sweat and trying not to move, hoping it will keep you from dying. Uh, we can't grab the tie anymore. That's sad. Uh, it's greater than or equal to. But I think we're fine. Anyway, it doesn't have to be a mature stream. Pull on the fan. Let's uh, l l let's leave this for now, shall we? Um, there's a coat that I kind of want to grab. Yeah, uh, do that. Disco. What was that? Disco as blazer. <laughs> ah, and here are our stats. Um, I forget what level affair is. Uh, sneak under their noses, stun with immense panache. Uh, okay. So I wonder if we had not taken the pants first, if we could have grabbed the tie easy. This is cool. Oh, there's a lot more stuff. Can I zoom in? Yes, I can with scroll wheel. I'll scroll. Okay, I think we're dizzy. Uh, look here. Um, is Josh teaching porn? 
No. <laughs> this magnum sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. What's this? Is this a shoe? Green shoe. Left shoe. Item gained. Can I put it on? I have one shoe on. Doesn't do anything, actually. It's purely cosmetic. Why is this character naked? Because we woke up dazed and confused. But he's old enough to. Um. I don't understand what teaching porn means. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. Interesting. This is our little portrait, it seems. This real to real tape player is still on. Can I turn it off? Oh, let's go in here anyway. Um, tap's running. That's not good. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink in a fierce discharge of masculine energy. Someone has ripped half the faucet off. Hot water sprays from the basin. Steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of it. Then you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there. Underneath the soft vapor? Really? Nothing? Wipe the mirror. Really nothing? Really, all recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you're in has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking. It was a deluge of world-ending proportions. First he is drunk. We uh, were talking about talking about drinking. Then he is naked. Boys, we got him. He doesn't want <laughs> Uh, you don't have to be drunk to do porn. <laughs> As you slowly reach your hand toward the surface of the mirror. Um, easy success. Abort! You clearly have no, uh, not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. Maybe I should touch it first. Make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. I don't care. Still wipe the face. Um... Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with it. <laughs> What's wrong? Where to even begin? There's the bloatedness, then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. I'm sorry. Touch your nose. At least my tongue is okay. Touch your tongue. I'm scared. I don't want to... Uh, I want to stop doing this. Wipe the mirror now. Behold. Eee. Ugh. You don't have to be naked either. No, 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 no. If we're getting into technicalities, not at all. That's that's where I'm ending the conversation. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Dear Lord, help me. What is this? Of course I do. It's um, is it some kind of superstar? I think I'm a superstar. This is the face of a late stage alcoholic. That's definitely true. Too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Or oh, wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? I'm not making it. The face is making itself. I have no idea why it's there. It just is. Okay. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. Okay, try to stop. No, keep making the face. He's smiling. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I mean, technically... Well, okay. Too, uh, by law, too young to definitely have a part of that world or have a place in that world. But here's the thing. If I can get real for a second. Underage porn addiction is real. And I think discussing things like that more openly with youth will demystify it a bit. Will go towards finding a solution to the problem. That's a discussion for another time, though. Um, There is a demon in it. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face and now it won't come off. At least we're happy. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Superstardom. God, I don't know. It's indescribable. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off too. In a sad has-been kind of way. There is some charm to it. It's an expression of pain. Superstardom. 
Let's go with that. I think we deserve to love ourselves. You should check yourself for a pulse, superstar. For here, it looks like a cadaverous spasm. Cadaverous spasm. A cadaver is a corpse. Yeah, I don't need to. I have my heartbeat. Uh, getting clever appears to make the expression even worse. Now it's mixed with smugness. Uh, encyclopedia. Ooh, formidable. Dig deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression. Impossible electrochemistry. Attempt to stop the expression. Let's uh, let's try. Maybe we get lucky. Hey, we did it. Or a clown in here. He has a red nose. He does have quite a red nose, and that will happen to you. Encyclopedia. It belongs in the the new, the third decade of the current century. Enough time had passed from the failure from the failure of the revolution that for a fleeting moment, free market economy seemed like the ultimate uncontested way of life for our species. Okay, the third decade of the current century, so they keep track of the decades. Okay. Things were good. It was smooth sailing. People made gold and champagne tinted interiors and facades to suit the times, calling this the new style. But more importantly, disco happened. Or revocal, your city, or revachol. That meant only one thing. Guillaume le Million. William the Million. If it doesn't rhyme, you're not pronouncing it right. <laughs> Out of the dazzling swirl of disco music in an open air, wow, I'm really testing my old French knowledge, uh, Boite de Nuit. I don't know. <laughs> Somewhere in uh, Revachol Re Re West, Guillaume's blood mane appeared on the screen. He sang some BS, then he made the expression. So I adopted it. Why? I feel the need to add a clicking sound when I make it. How long ago was the new? Anything else? Like, who am I? Why did I drink myself into oblivion? Sure. So I adopted it. Why? Anything else? You have some understanding of the near history of a disco. The rest is darkness. Aside from the useless fact that the motor carriage outside was a Coupri Kinema. There's nothing wrong with... Okay, you're, com you're, you're um, jumping the gun a bit. There's nothing inherently wrong with sex. It's the overconsumption of... There's a lot of stuff. So, addiction is bad. Dependence on something that gives you a dopamine rush can be pretty bad. And it leads to addiction. And it provides a platform for less moral activity. Less than moral activity. That's that's where I am going to end the conversation on that topic. And we're also going to wrap up the stream as soon as we've put together exactly who we are. If I adopted it, why? Everyone loved it. Maybe you thought some of the stardust would rub off on you. Maybe it did. Either way, it's all gone now. Only the grimace remains. I feel the need to add a click, clicking sound when I make it. Click, click. How long ago was the new? Some 20 odd years. They're in a vast ocean of time between right now and the expression looking good on you. Excuse me, or anyone. Humanity has run around in that time. It's a different world now. The expression is a relic. I feel the need to add a clicking sound when I make it. The click is used to spur on a horse. It also features heavily in Guillaume Le Million's regional mega hit, Don't Worry Your Pretty Little Head. I guess that's it. We'll include. Thought gained, Guillaume Le Million. It doesn't have to be. You can swoon over Guillaume and his champagne cork smile whenever you want to. Maybe some of the starters will return? Not a chance I'm doing that one. Let the mirror be for now. Seems we're interacting with the world. Ah, a shirt. White stained shirt. Uh, are we wearing that? Good. Okay. This. Thought cabinet. Guillaume Le Million. That's a... Internalizer. Here we go. Yep. Um, yeah, that's the end of the discussion. You see bottles in the bathtub, wine, beer, and sweet liqueurs. Yeah. Okay. 
if you really want to i would talk to someone that if you want to continue the conversation i would talk to someone you trust like a school counselor or your parents broken window the window stands broken in the frame a cold wind blows in look out visual calculus easy assess the damage let's go 83 percent good odds the shards face outward whatever broke this window came from the inside did i break it with my own hands a fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What did this what did this then? More likely a projectile than a held object? There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Wait, what am I doing? Is this the size of the impact? It is too large for a bullet yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fists. A single green shoe you found fits the hole almost as well as your foot. It should, it would have also been heavy enough if thrown with force. Congratulations, you smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. Maybe it wasn't me. I should go and get that shoe. Maybe it wasn't me. You mean someone else took your shoe off and smashed the window with it. This person also forced the drinks on you. I should go and get that shoe. <laughs> New task, find your other shoe. A cool wind gushes and your toes curl up from the cold. <clears throat> the cold. I trust no one, only myself. You should trust no one, not even yourself. Um, okay, I think we, can we try this one more time? Get, getting the tie. This fan has two chain pulls. Um, yeah, <laughs> grab the tie. Um, Pull on the light bulb. A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Bring it on! Your eyes burn with photosensitivity. It's not good. Leave. Uh, pull on the light bulb. Uh, leave. I think we hurt ourselves. You have to challenge yourself sometimes. Let's uh let's see how far we can get. There's more. Okay, why do you need two shoes? Because otherwise you walk weirdly. And your one foot is exposed. This is giving us the weather. I would rather have none. That is true. Um rather than having one shoe, it's probably best to have uh there's something on the... I can't read that. There's something on the table. Money. I can come back here, right? Or I can. Most people settle for bed after 9 or not long after. At night, the streets are emptier. By 2, everyone's asleep. The weird space there. I also go to sleep at around 9. Can we wrap this up soon? We've done some cool exploring. Okay, loading the areas for the first time is straining it a little bit. It's fine. We got there. I save. A gust of briny wind washes over you. Well, we got out of the apartment. We have the shoe. Green snakeskin shoes. I think this is a good place to end it off for the day. You got our shoes. I really hate shoes. <laughs> wow, you'd rather have no shoes than two. Journal, Monday, find your other shoe. It seems like your green snakes snakeskin shoe is missing its partner. You should find it before you go venturing into the wild unknown. Two shoes are better than one. Untie them. Unite them again. <laughs> My bad. Uh, done. Uh, active. I have both of them. Composure is up. How do I... Save. This is the thought cabinet. Let me try... Save game. And we'll continue tomorrow. Okay, um, this was a lot of fun. This is not a detective game. It, it will be soon enough. 
It'll be a detective RPG. Thank you so much for coming. We're going to be continuing this tomorrow without the technical difficulties, hopefully. And we're going to be making some progress. So hopefully I see you then. Goodbye. Yep. There we go.